Here we are, Wednesday morning, seven-day forecast coming up, and it's Dakota College of Botno time. And this morning, we have Casey May Huff and Mark LaCroix. She is the new coach for the women's softball team, and Mark is the uh, coach for the men's baseball team, correct? Yes. So I've got this. All right. <laughs> Casey May, welcome to the studio. Mark's been Thank here you. before. Uh, let's talk about you for a second. Sure. Where, where are you from? Uh, originally from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, mm -hmm. and then uh, moved down south to play and coach softball and ended up in North Dakota. Okay. Uh, what do you think so far? It's cold. <laughs> but you're from, I mean, it's, it's cold up there too. Yes. Yes. I was spoiled. I lived in Texas for a while, so oh, wow. coming back up has been kind of a shock, but okay. um, Botno has been great. The community, the school, everyone's been really welcoming mm -hmm. and um, so no complaints. You couldn't ask for a better school to coach with. No, that's right. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Okay. So, um, so you have been coaching softball for how long now? Uh, this will be my fourth year. Okay. And let's talk about the team this year, the uh, the women's softball team. What are we looking forward to in terms of uh, performance, things like that? Are we expecting a super good season? Uh, I have a good group of girls. Mm -hmm. um, ever since I got here in November, they've really uh, worked hard. We hit the ground running, um, and we're excited to start playing uh, get some reps, see some live pitching. We have 13 girls, so we're working with a bit of a smaller roster, mm -hmm. but uh, lots of playing time, lots of opportunities. Um, not as much depth as I would like, but I think the girls are excited to get that playing time and the opportunity to get as many innings as possible. Okay, so when um, you were going to say, I'm sorry. No. Nope, or was nope. that it? Yep, that was it. Oof, I thought there was something else coming <laughs> out. Um, so when are we looking at the season starting? Uh, we open up on the 29th in Minot. Oh, wow. Versus okay. uh, Minot JV. And so uh, we'll head out there for um, a doubleheader and mm -hmm. see see how it goes. We're starting off strong. <laughs> Where is the farthest you're traveling this year? Uh, we are heading down to Iowa for our wow. spring break trip. So, okay. All right. So Should be a lot of fun. Not warm, but uh, we'll get outside anyways. When, when is that? Uh, we will head down March 13th. Oh, it'll be warm yes. by then. Yeah, hopefully. All the snow is going to be hopefully. gone. Hopefully. <laughs> from there. Okay. Um, so the team-wise, you've got some big plans. You've got some some big hopes. I mean, we all do. We yes. want to see that the teams succeed. And this is your fourth year doing this. So compared to other teams you've coached, how does this team stack up? Um, I think we have... That's a good question that right is... there. That, that's a tough one to answer. <laughs> that, that is. Put me on the spot. I did. Yes, I, did. Um, I like what I have. Um, you know, coming in so late uh, mm -hmm. as being a later hire, um, this is the first couple months that I've been working with these girls um, as they, you know, I didn't get a chance to recruit them, but I've been pleasantly surprised. Um, I think that we will be able to compete, um, especially opening up with Minot, mm -hmm. Jamestown. Um, we're playing Jamestown's JV and then the uh, NAIAs and D2s that will play in Iowa. That'll just feed us right into conference. And I think we should open up pretty strong. Okay. Very diplomatic answer. So. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Mark, let's let's get over to you now. Let's talk about men's baseball. Kind of the same question, I guess. Um, this team, what are we looking forward to, and how are we stacking up? Uh, you know, in previous years, you know, we've had a couple last year where we had guys that got hurt, and then obviously the COVID bug really hurt us on that. Mm -hmm. It hurt our depth last year. Across the board, I think the biggest thing that we have this year is we have more depth across there, especially with the pitching staff right there. We've got 20 guys out of our 33 that will throw for us on that part there. Wow. Um, you know, and then our local guys have played really well here. Um, you know, we've got guys like Cy Luna we were able to pick up, Dalton Anderson, just to name a few right there that have really came in and played well. And then we got the sophomores coming back with Josh Lowry and Isaac Murphy for that third year due to the COVID year that sure. we're looking to have our leadership right there. Um, they've been through the tough times and stuff. They've been a really good example in practice and stuff here. Um, biggest thing is just to keep growing on it. And, you know, this year's outlook for us is to be competitive consistently across the board. I think our pitching staff is going to do that. It might be tough in the conference, obviously, with Bismarck State right there. Kieran does a great job. And Jeff Brabant down over there with Miles. Um, and then Dawson's always got some talent. So we've got, you know, a card just stacked up against us. But, you know what, every day baseball is fun that way. You can go out, you can get challenged, you never know what might happen. All it takes is one dominant outing for a pitcher. And, you're in a ball game, but, you know, have a chance to go win it. So these guys, I think, are going to put our program in the right direction. I, I'm excited to see what they do. 
come out strong out of the gate, right? Yeah, um, you know, we go down to Colorado State University. We play their club team for a five-game set right there. We're going to get a good feel right away. Uh, then we go down to Arizona for eight games, followed by Adam State on the road back for 12. And that will be before we play Dawson, you know, and obviously we hope our hockey team does really well. We've got four players mm-hmm. that are playing on that team. Um, at that point, we'll be adding Tanner Klein, Tyson Pringle, Dale Jorstad, and Billy Patmore. So you're kind of going to get a nice little boost there about midway through the season that will help there. Um, mm-hmm. Klein being a starting catcher for us last year Tyson Pringle is one of our main arms who unfortunately got hurt last year who we bring back um, with those guys coming back and then obviously Billy you know, being a freshman this will be his first action Dale's kind of been a key guy too over the time um, excited what they can do I mean it will be an interesting year to see what they can put on the field and stuff and what we're going to be able to do record wise but just keep improving at the end of the year have a chance to win in the conference tournament's all we're asking for did you say Arizona? Correct. We will be going down there between March 14th and the 18th, so it's going to be nice and warm down there for us, unlike uh, the Iowa trip for them. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. So uh, you might want to talk to your routing people to see I where you're going to play next year anyway. That's right. Okay. That's right. Well, uh, congratulations on, on the on the move here. Thank you. And uh, great to have you, and we'll hope to chat again more throughout the season. And, Mark, thank you so much. Anything else you guys want to add? Not this time. I'm good. All right, well. Thanks All right. for having us. Yeah, yeah, thanks for being here. All right, back in another uh, little bit with a seven-day forecast. It's-